up to the Marketing Tech, showing you another video on Windows 7, Part 2, here with my dog Carmen. Okay, so we're going to talk about the new feature that in Windows 7, like the new Brune feature and included in most Windows 7 programs. Well, a lot of Windows 7, not most. So here you see, this paint, and you can see the Windows feature, the rim feature, is featured here, and prominently, with color, your brush, you can do your shapes, you can do a whole bunch of stuff, and you have your eraser, so you can erase all the stuff, and you can even change your color pretty easy with a couple clicks. I don't know if they're coming like down below. Uh, well, you get the point. And you have this new feature where you can save that PNG, JPEG, DMP, GIF, or other formats. You've got other formats. It's like you have the choice of KF, 24 bit, 256 color bitmap, 16 color bitmap, and monochrome bitmap. But you pretty much nobody uses this. Everybody you pretty much uses JPEG as a standard. Okay. It's got that program, don't save. And let's open up uh, uh, it's, it's a gadget feature in Windows 7. You have you can add a clock or a picture puzzle. So it'll take a long load. Okay. And you can drag it wherever you want to. You can go like this, like that. Pretty much as ever you want to go. And, well, you get the picture of a puddle. Uh, but you can drag wherever you want to go. Okay, our calculator. Has it evolved into a, you have a pro statistic program, calculator, a programmer, a scientific for his college kids and middle school, and your standard, which everybody pretty much knows how to use. I wonder what 1 plus 1 equals. Huh. Oh, it's 2. So you to do. Okay. Next feature is Windows Mobility Center. Okay. You control your brightness, your screen, your wireless connectivity, your volume, your display external. You can have your sync partnerships, which allows you to sync Windows mobile devices, which I never have to never use. I use an iPhone, I would use an iPhone or a Windows mobile device. And your presentation mode, which you can connect external monitor to the, your computer, or external projector. Our next feature is WordPad. You see, it used to be WordPad, used to be a old, weird, not plain WordPad. It's to write on. Well, now it's changed to so you can draw and paint. Put next something into the WordPad. And there it is. You can even enlarge it from here. Like that. And it'll be incorporated into your picture. See. Now, next one, and you can also save that. Next feature is save that. You can see with a rich document, open office text, XML document, open document text, plain doc text document, other formats is a rich text document. Uh, uh, MSDOS text document and unencoded text document. Uh, don't save. And the next one that I really like is oh, right here. I can minimize it before. You can search for a printer on your local network and you can enter a printer your network address. This is good for not connecting with an old cable. You can use it, you can just sync it. You can use it over the internet and project whatever you want, PowerPoint or whatever. That's a good thing too. And that's pretty much it. Check my blog www.mj96.tk and subscribe to my video right there.